Hello my dear family members, this is very proud moment that many of our family members are cracking the cognitive and technical round of Accenture. Now I will be more proud if you crack the interview round as well. So today we will share an interview experience of our family member who has cracked the interview recently. So the first question is this, what is the use of static keyword? So as you know the static keyword in Java is used to indicate that a particular member belongs to the type itself. It can be used with the variable, it can be used with the methods, right? Whenever you are using static with the variables or the methods, these variables or methods can be used in the main method without creating the object of the class, right? Because they are connected with the class itself, not with the object, right? And if you are using a static keyword, then we can optimize the memory because memory allocation for the static uh, method, static keyword is happened only once when the uh, class is loaded right so i hope you understood and just remember these answers are just a starting point you should elaborate on this concept with examples and relate them to your personal experiences during the interview right so i hope you will give importance to this so let's go to the exam uh, next question that is this can we implement interfaces in a single java class so what should be your answer just Think a little then start matching if you are right or not. So a single Java class can implement multiple interfaces. Yes, this is possible. This allows for a form of multiple inheritances as a class can inherit types and methods from multiple source interfaces, right? Just remember, give a real time example or the syntaxes whenever you can. If you are giving Accenture interview, then there might be 20 minutes of for your slot, right? So this is enough for the answering. But if you are giving TCS or any other company's exam uh, interviews, then please elaborate more, right? Okay, so let's go to the next quest next question that is regarding significance of the super and this keyword. So what is super and this keyword? The super keyword in Java is used to refer to the immediate parent class object. That means immediate super class and it's often used to invoke the super classes constructor or methods and what's this keyword this keyword refers to the current instances of the class and it used to access class variable and methods right i hope if they are not satisfied if they want more then please give them uh, in, uh give them syntax and examples right okay so the next question is what is runtime polymorphism and how it is achieved Whenever you will be asked this question, then at first start giving answer with poly polymorphism. What is polymorphism? So polymorphism is uh, like a phenomena when a same method act like differently and in different time, different location, right? I hope you will understand. Then start giving uh, the types. What are the different type of polymorphism? The runtime polymorphism and compile time polymorphism then start answering actual question what is runtime polymorphism so runtime polymorphism is also known as dynamic method dispatch is a process in which a call to an overridden method is resolved at runtime rather than compile time in java this is achieved using what this is achieved using method overriding and the compile time polymorphism is achieved using method overloading i hope you understand and if they want more examples then give the examples right i hope you will give the examples okay the next question is what are the differences between arrays versus array list in java so as you know the arrays are fixed size data structure and these are having similar data types and they cannot have the inbuilt functions but array list have a uh, dynamic size and it can be uh, resized as needed and the array list have multiple inbuilt functions and array list can have hybrid data types right i hope you understood so the next problem can be the diamond problem in java so as you can see in the picture the diamond problem occurs in scenarios where a class inherits from two classes that have a common base class as you can see in the picture this class d is inheriting from these two classes b and c and they have a common base class a right so in this scenario they uh, this diamond problem occurs right 
Java avoids this type of problem by not allowing multiple inheritances of classes and by using in interfaces instead, right? As you can see, by using interfaces, we can solve this problem. Okay, so the next problem is what's the difference between C, C++ and Java? I'm just giving you the basic information about this. C is a procedural language, C++ is the middle level language, Java is the high level and object oriented programming language. C is mainly used for system programming and C++ is mainly used for system programming and developing game softwares and Java is mainly used for security, portability and simplicity of, uh, of file building uh, softwares, right? And I hope you will add more, right? Okay, the next question is what is Lambda expression in Java? So before this, uh, before answering this question, start giving the answer of functional interfaces what is functional interfaces the interfaces which is having only one abstract method that is single abstract method and then start answering what is lambda expression so the lambda expression in java is a way to represent instances of a functional interfaces and they provide a clear and concise way this term is very important concise way they provide a clear and concise way to implement methods using an expression and using uh, lambda expression we can we can uh, make the code more readable and we can reduce the code uh, code length lengthiness right and using the lambda expression we can simplify event handling in gui application right okay so let's go to the next problem that next problem is increment operators uh, you will be given two uh, variables like var plus plus and plus plus var. What is the difference between them? You are asked. So the var plus plus is the post increment operator which returns the value before incrementing, while plus plus var is the pre increment operator which increments the value first then returns it. Okay, I hope you understood. Then the last question which ever asked to him was memory allocation in C as he has referred C is the uh, second language of him so he uh, he has been asked from c so what's uh please discuss about memory allocation in c so this is a quiz question for, for you please give the answer in the comment section let's see who has the best way to give the answer okay so i hope this much of information this much of discussion is enough for today's session if you think this video added value to your preparation then please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding accenture interview this will be very much helpful to you so i hope you will be tuned in. So thank you for your session.